Hi, my name's Aaron Foreman from Table 6 Restaurant in Denver, Colorado. Today we're gonna to talk about making a good sangria. The idea is basically to take older wine, wine that's been open for a little while, and make it into a punch. Um, what we first wanna do is you wanna actually take your fruit, you wanna cut up all your fruit, okay? I just go down the side, get that real nice sort of side cut there where it really exposes the fruit really nice. Get it on the end there. The, another way to do it, especially with the oranges, is you can go down the side here. Um, with the pears, I like to go down the side. So you really get that real, it gets that nice representation of the fruit itself. Mix it all in a bowl, and you get that sort of look right there. And then you add some brandy to it. Really get that in there, especially for guys who like to have a, maybe a little bit of a stronger sangria. Get that in there, let that go for about a half an hour to an hour. And then what you'll do is you'll take your red wine, simple. Um, in this case, I've used a little bit of rhubarb as our stirring stick. And you'll pour a little red wine into a pitcher. And then after that, you'll want to add the actual juice from the fruit. So that brandy and that fruit really gets in there, good. Just sort of do that to order. And then what also we can do as well is add a little sugar. Just to bring that, um, you know, that little sort of sugary aspect to it. And you can be sort of generous with it. It depends on um, how much sugar you like to work with. And then you work that in real nice. And then what you'll do is just take a nice little glass with ice, pour that over. And what I like to do at the end is just add a little cava. Just sort of pays another little homage to the sangria, to Spain itself. Um, add a little garnish. Boom, there you go. You've got a perfect sangria. And thank you so much.